Hey guys, my name is Tito. I make videos on personal finance on my other channel. On this channel, I talk about other things like today when I'll be reviewing a Showmax Nigerian original limited series, Diche. Now, this review will contain spoilers. However, I'll leave out some intricate details of the show for the benefit of those of you who are yet to watch Diche. Now, um, the show DJ is about Nandi Uwokeji, a movie executive whose body is found at a beach house after a party ride and the cops are investigating it, they're trying to get to the bottom of it as to who done it and the suspects were introduced to in episode 1 because we're introduced to a few more suspects in episode 2 the suspects were introduced in episode 1 are DJ, Nandi's fiance, who is an actress and who is... it seems like there's something going on with DJ somewhere I'll get into that a little later then there's also Jimmy, Namdi's business partner, who is the quiet type, and he's a suspect as well. And there are a few other characters here and there who may have been involved with Namdi's demise. Another interesting element of episode one is the fact that there are these two investigators or inspectors who are on the case. They are working together for the first time, Inspector Kazim and Inspector Ijoma. And there's this rift between two of them because... Kazim doesn't want to work with Ijeoma, but they have, they've been brought together to try and solve this case. And I like the way, you know, they, the, the stage is set in episode one. And I also like how it ends. How it ends, spoiler coming up, Officer Ijeoma goes back to the crime scene and there's someone there who, you know, is tampering with evidence or looking for something as well. And that person knocks Officer Ijeoma out. Suffice to say that episode one was successful in reeling me in and getting me really interested in this show. Now in episode two, there's a war of words between the mothers, between the late Namdi's mother and Diche's mother because Namdi's mom believes that Diche was responsible for her son's demise. So they go back at, you know, back and forth. They go at it for a little while. Plus, Namdi's mom is particularly upset because while Nandi was alive at some point, she gave him a bracelet, you know, that's a charm. It's meant to protect him from evil, right? But when his body was discovered, that bracelet wasn't on him. And it's at this stage that, you know, you start wondering if there's more to it that meets the eye concerning Nandi's death. So yeah, there's that. Also in episode two, we're introduced to another suspect, um, Ichie Jimoni, my favorite character on this show. He's a flamboyant, you know, club owner and businessman. And while Namdi was alive, he was they were in business to produce or to make this two billion naira movie, an action sci-fi thriller. <laughs> it was it sounded ridiculous, and it was ridiculous. But the objective was to launder money. But the character Ichiji Money, I love the guy, played very well by Kalu Ikeagu. And finally, what I liked about episode two was a car chase scene that that was had or that happened. In Lagos Island. I, I liked that. That was something that I haven't seen before. Now in episode 3, to find the killer, the cops are looking at Namdi's finances to see who he's been doing business with and how money has been moving through his accounts. And it's in this process we realize that Namdi and Ichiji Jimoni have been having crooked or shady deals together for a while. And Namdi has even been forging his business partner Jimmy's signature for a while too. We also realize that it seems like G Money has something on Namdi because he's been blackmailing him. We don't know why though or what he's been using to blackmail Namdi and I can't wait to find out what that was. Finally, in this episode, we see that Jimmy and Namdi had a fight at the beach house the night that Namdi lost his life. But Namdi was alive at the time when the fight ended and Jimmy left the beach house. But who's to say that, you know, Jimmy doesn't come back to finish Namdi off later on that night. Now, if episode three was a look at Namdi's shady finances, then episode four was a look at Namdi's shady love life. Turns out that for most of the time that he's been engaged to DJ, Namdi had been cheating with someone else. And who he was cheating with was a huge surprise to me. I won't say who it was. I'll leave you guys to go and find that out by watching the show. But if you've watched it already, you probably already know. It was a big shock to me. But what surprised me the most was the fact that Diche's mother knew that Namdi was cheating on her daughter, but she didn't tell her daughter Diche. That surprised me and it shocked me. And it, when during her interrogation, when she told the police something along the lines of, there are no good men anymore anyway, it kind of broke my heart because what she was saying in effect was that if, if Namdi didn't cheat on my daughter, someone else would have anyway. That was painful to hear. But another thing I liked in episode four was the fact that you know we see some of the things that happen in the moments leading up to Namdi's demise at the beach house because 
a few moments before, which, you know, they still haven't shown us how Namdi passes away, but they do show us a fight between Namdi and DJ at the beachfront and some answers are provided there, like what happened to Namdi's bracelets. And I love the way the episode ended with DJ being dragged into the water. <laughs> that was best scene thus far in these four episodes of DJ. That, that was quite memorable and that as well has provided one or two answers about what's going on with DJ. The performances. The cast of DJ is also quite impressive. You've got Uzo Amaka Onoha. Never heard of her before, but I will be keeping an eye out for her going forward. She's doing a great job playing DJ. Because DJ is bereaved on the, on the show, it requires a lot of emotions from Uzo Amaka and she's doing a great job. I'm, I like the way she's portraying that character. You've also got Daniel K. Daniel, who plays Namdi Nwokeji, this character that he just hates and you, you don't really feel bad that he's been popped, right? Kind of. But Daniel K. Daniel is doing a great job playing Namdi. And you've got F.I. Wara playing Jimmy, um, Namdi's partner. You've got the police officers, Uzo Amaka and Niuno, who plays Officer or Inspector um, Ijoma. I think this is the most calm character I've ever seen Uzo Amaka and Niuno play before. Typically, she's a vibrant and bubbly character and other things I've seen her in. In this one, she's this level-headed police officer trying to do her job, trying to be professional and all that. And she's doing a great job and she's very believable and I'm enjoying her performance. Now, her partner, Inspector uh, Kazim, played by Frank Conwea, he's doing really good. I like his catchphrase, chop chop. <laughs> he's doing good and I like how the dynamic between his character and Uzamaka Anuno's character is changing. At the beginning of the show, they didn't like each other. He was very adamant. He didn't want to work with her. But as they're solving this case, they seem to be getting closer or working better together. And I just like that dynamic. I like both of them, you know, in their performances on this show. You've also got some Nollywood bigwigs on the show. You've got Chinyere Wilfred, who plays DJ's mother. Fantastic job. Her scenes with Uzo Amaka Onoha are quite believable. And I think as the show draws to a close in episode five and six, we're going to see more from two of them. You've also got Glory Anozie Young as Namdi's mother. She's doing a fantastic job as well. She's just, there's, you just feel so many emotions when the woman comes on screen and how she's trying to solve the case on her own. And then you've got Kalu Ikeagu who plays G Money. And I'm pleasantly surprised by his performance on the show as well. Like I said earlier, my favorite character on the show. All right, it's giveaway time, guys. Now, I want to pay for somebody's Showmax subscription for a month. And what you can do to be the lucky winner is to just list in the comment section down below five international TV shows or series or five African TV shows or series that are available on Showmax that you would watch if you were to win this free one month subscription from me. OK, just list them down in the comment section below. You can even head over to Showmax.com or to the Instagram handle at ShowmaxNiger for some clues for the answers to this question. Once you find them or once you are ready, in the comment section down below, just list out your answers and I will pick a winner at random on the date showing on the screen right now. Remember, on Showmax, you can also stream amazing African shows and series, including the latest Africa Magic Originals Covenant and Itura and the African fantasy series Blood Sams, the Afrobeats documentary Journey of the Beats, and a host of other local content. What I liked. What I like about DJ is how the stakes keep getting higher with each new episode, which is essential for a good murder mystery show, right? You need to keep the audience wanting more and you need to keep them coming back and you just need to dispense the suspense in the right amounts See what I did there? <laughs> to keep them wanting more. And each time I end an episode, I can't wait to find out, you know, additional details in the next episode. I've, I just, I finished episode four, episode five comes out this Thursday, can't wait for it. And I can't wait to see, you know, as things draw to a close, what's going on and how, you know, things transpired till now. I still can't tell you who I think you know, oft Namdi on this show. So the suspense and how the stakes keep getting higher, love it. I also love the cinematography on DJ. The camera quality, or sorry, the images, I should say, look really good. The aerial footage, even for transitions, they look really good. I'm seeing aspects or angles of Lagos that I've never seen 
you know, in other Nollywood productions. And I find that quite impressive. Once again, that car chase scene from episode two, that was quite impressive to me. I don't see that many car chase scenes in Nollywood productions. So that was nice. Even the car that they used was nice. I found that impressive. The sets and the set design. Those of you who, you know, aren't into film production and well, I think I know because well, I do know a bit about film production, but I actually know because I know one of the directors and the executive producer on the show. The sets are actually purpose built. Most of those sets aren't like people's homes or existing buildings. They built those sets like the homes on the show, the police, um, the police station or the police, uh, the investigator's office, the interrogation rooms, the offices of Namdi and Jimmy. Lots of those sets were purpose built for this show and they really look nice and that makes things look very original and i really appreciate it when i watch nollywood productions when i see sets or environments that i've never seen before and because the sets on this show were purpose built i've never seen them before and it looked really fresh and really nice to me so yeah between the, the set design and the sets the production value and the camera quality and the angles and the fact that they're dispensing the suspense in the right amount I'm really enjoying DJ. Anyway, guys, you can catch up on the four episodes of DJ that are up now on showmax.com. And remember, this Thursday, October 27th, episode five comes out. And next week, Thursday, the final episode, episode six drops. So look out for both those episodes. But like I said, you can watch episodes one to four right now. Remember, I'm also giving out a one month free subscription of Showmax to win that or to take part in that check the description box down below for details or the comment section as well. Now, do remember to please like this video by clicking on the like button and subscribe to this channel as well by clicking on the red subscribe button. It's very important. Finally, if you are watching DJ and enjoying it, please let me know what you enjoy about the show or just let me know anything that you think about the show in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much. This has been awesome. I will catch you in the next one. Take care.